Here is our guide on the new Outlook versus the classic Outlook. There is a new Outlook in town and it is looking modern, but is it ready for prime time? On first glance, the new Outlook is familiar yet different. It has a similar layout and quite a few of the same buttons. If you've been using Outlook Web, it will look very similar because this new Outlook is strongly related to Outlook Web. Let's dive into the differences with Classic Outlook and what some of the new exclusive features we have. The interface. First, let's stick with how Outlook looks. Missing from the new Outlook is the right sidebar for calendar and tasks. This has been replaced with a new toggle button at the top. It is split into calendar and to, to do, which is where tasks can now be found. This evolution of the calendar sidebar also shows due tasks alongside your appointments. Handy for seeing everything you need to get done that day. Elsewhere, you still have your folders on the left and email preview in the middle. The toolbar at the top has the option for simplified or the larger classic ribbon. With the folders, the new Outlook currently only lets you favorite your own folders which is not handy if you need to monitor or regularly access a shared mailbox. Speaking of shared mailboxes, these appear under the shared with me header. However, they always collapse and you need to re-expand them after opening Outlook. Themes. One thing I have found is how bright the new Outlook is. I've been a long time colorful or more recently dark gray user. The new Outlook has just two looks, light and dark. There's no middle ground between the two. At least you can change the colors. Mail features. Reply, forwarding, flags, dragging messages to folders are all there. Plus there's a few new abilities. Emails can be snoozed to a later date. Outlook will move the message to a snooze folder and then ping it back into your inbox for the date you choose. If an email is super important, you can pin it. This will keep the email at the top of that folder. And when you need to go send an email, you can schedule send. This lets you write those late night emails and have them automatically send the next day. Or you can use this feature to send emails in the future, such as reminders. There are some limitations in the new Outlook. Email rules are currently only able to move messages within your own mailbox. The same goes for quick steps, which also miss out on a few abilities such as automatically sending a reply or forwarding an email when clicked. Also missing is RSS feed support. However, you will still see the folder for any subscriptions that you had in Classic Outlook. Calendar. The main calendar view is pretty similar, albeit simplified on the toolbar and with how multiple calendars are displayed. You have the options of overlaying your calendars or having them side by side, not a mixture of both. On the toolbar, there is no longer different buttons for an appointment, meetings or Teams meeting. These have all been combined into one. On the new appointment window, you have over eight attendees, select a room or turn it into a Teams meeting. A handy feature is on the right, you can see your calendar as you enter the date and time details for your appointment. And you can drag it within that window as well, changing the start and end times. Add-ins. This might be the big issue for the new Outlook. It will not have COM add-in support, meaning any old plugins will not work. You will even need to switch to a web add-in version or find an alternative. If you've already switched to web add-ins in Classic Outlook or Outlook Web, these will all load as normal. On the roadmap, some much wanted abilities are on their way. Clicking and dragging on messages to file folders, ability to open PST files such as email archives and opening individual email files. The new Outlook is still a work in progress and it is expected Microsoft will match more features. However, there will be a time where we say bye-bye to classic Outlook. The new Outlook is going to become the default experience for quite a lot. Yeah, 
it is ready for you to use. Some aspects certainly need more work and I find myself flipping between the two with classic Outlook getting more use because I use shared mailboxes. Now, do you find your emails are ending up in your recipient's junk folder? Check out this video on why more emails are getting filtered and how you can get your emails delivered.